We're ready. <laughs> we are ready. The whole city is ready. Mm -hmm. The whole country is ready. We call this the Obama factor. We have done cleaning up, and we have really prepared for our president. Can you tell me about what you're wearing? I mean, is this cloth that was made especially for his visit? Yes, it was. It's a cloth. It's a showcase, and it's called Africans for Obama. And we had it during the campaign, so we wore it all over, and we were President Obama, and we encouraged all the diasporians in America who could vote to get out and vote. Mm -hmm. This is the first and only Africa Union diaspora mission in the world. Our role is to encourage diaspora participation in the development of Africa. And you're American? Yes. I'm How long African have you been American. here? I've lived in Ghana for eight years. I've been in and out of Africa for 30 years. So most of my adult life, I've been in Africa. So what inspired you to move here and to do the work that you're doing? It's a calling. It really, really is. I believe that this is part of my destiny. Um, I really believe that in order for Africa to move forward, it's going to be those of us in the diaspora, in America, Brazil, all of us. And we're not necessarily saying all of us come back, but we're saying all of us look back. There's something everybody can do. So this is kind of like a gift shop that is supporting the work that you're doing. It is a gift shop. Okay. It is a gift shop. And we have things from all over. We have things from Kenya. We have things from Tanzania. Mm -hmm. We have things from all over Africa. Ghana has really become a real tourist hub, and specifically for um, African Americans. Um, there's a warmth here. There's a hospitality. I'm sure you've felt it already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ghanaians are very warm and hospitable people. And so when African Americans come, they feel that. And uh, it's a spirit. Mm -hmm. It really is a spirit, and you feel it. President and Mrs. Barack Obama, they are the hopes and dreams of our ancestors. And that's what we say here. We are the hopes and dreams of our ancestors. And they really are. Our ancestors died so that he could become president of the United States. And so we're all just elated and happy. And I think that this visit is not just for Ghana, but it's for all of Africa. To have the most powerful man in the world to be an African-American of African descent, I mean, having gone through those dungeons and having the pain of slavery and the shame of slavery, and to come back as the president of the United States of America, the most powerful country in the world, I mean, how do you describe the feeling? Mm -hmm. There's no words. Can you tell me about some of the things you have up on display oh, here? Well, these are things that I brought back. You know, I spent six months in the States working for him. But when I came back, I brought him back on the plane with me. <laughs> Did you actually bring this? I actually brought it back on the plane. In fact, it was so, so funny. Everybody kept saying, well, where's the president? And everybody was looking around saying, well, what are they talking about? And then at the end, we pulled him out of, he was checked. So we pulled him out and showed him everybody mm -hmm. on the plane. So we brought him back with us. And we just brought these things, you know, so that people, and we have a display, which just a display of pride, really. And, uh, and we had lots more, and everybody's bought them. Really? Oh, yeah. This was our really big hit. So this is our Sankofa wall. Okay. Sankofa means come back. Okay. Come back to your roots. And so we have named this wall the Sankofa wall mm -hmm. because it is a memorial wall to our ancestors and loved ones. Mm -hmm. It says, we are the hopes and dreams of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. And these are our ancestors. In fact, this is my mother. Which one? Desiree Bennett. Desiree. And that's my father. Oh, wow. And that's my best friend, Charlotte. <laughs> and that's my grandmother mm -hmm. and my godmother. So you put their names here, why? In honor of them. Mm -hmm. Most of them didn't get an opportunity to come to Africa, but now their names are here. I'm just curious if you've seen any distinction being made by Africans, you know, kind of saying, well, you're not African. It, there's, some, there's something different going on there. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. As I said, you know, one of the things that we want to do is talk about the positives, but there's some uncomfortableness, too. I mean, one of the things is that, I mean, you really have to be here a while before there's a trust and you really begin to feel a part of the society here. So it's not like they just said, oh, okay, welcome home. Do you think African Americans have a responsibility to look back? Absolutely. I think so. I feel that sense. You see, um, and too often, I don't think you can be whole until you really know your roots. You know, in terms of confidence as a woman, I really acquired that in terms of my coming back and forth to Africa. Because I see who we are, kings and queens and people of tremendous power. And, 
and I think so I do feel a sense of responsibility when it comes to Africa, mm. very much so.